Hey there, uh, this is Nick with Old Deli Music, and this is a video on how to fix a buzzy read. So let me angle this down. Uh, this is a DMS-18 Teak that I'm setting up right now, and to first, uh, the problem is this. And obviously to most people that would sound pretty bad. Um, it's actually not that terrible an issue to resolve with a couple tools, and... Um, so I'll show you how you get into this. All right, so in the front, I've already unscrewed some things, but all you really need is a flathead screwdriver. And you can take this piece off, which is right above your, your knobs. It just has these two screws that I've loosened. And then you take the piece off and set it to the side. Additionally, you're gonna remove this whole piece, which some people would remove these screws and take this top piece right here off by itself. You don't really need to do that, just these back screws. Back those out and you can take this whole piece off by just, uh, if you have a coupler, slide it around it and set that to the side. And then finally, you have these two long screws that hold down your reed board. And I loosen those and I'm in. Okay, so the first tool that I'm gonna use um, here, so that first, uh, buzzy note I showed you is a C-sharp and I can if that rings true like that just did that's not the problem that one right there you can hear the buzz very clearly so the second tool I'm going to use is this thing it's just a, a diamond file and it's got a curve to it and kind of a square shape um, the square shape is nice because it gets into these um, parts of the reed casing kind of nice and flat and what I'm doing is I'm just going to lift with this little tool that I made. Um, anything that's metal and thin would work to hold back the reed. Um, there's two parts of the reed, and I'll kind of grab a reed here to just illustrate this. There's two parts of the reed. So here's a reed. So you have your, your casing, which is this whole kind of thing. And then your actual reed, I'm just popping it out there so you can see the difference. So the reed is that little thin piece of metal there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to not to disturb the reed. I'll hold the reed up with, um, let's see if I can get it when it's not on here. I'll hold the reed up with my, my little reed tool, hold it out of the way, and then I'm going to slide my file back inside to chisel off the edge of the reed or the edge of the casing so uh, that's important to note you don't actually want to hit the reed so right now I'm scraping at the casing the inside edge what's happening that clipping you're hearing is just the sound of the, the metal reed hitting the metal casing and now that rings fine and if I close it up and I test it no more problem and if that was the only read on here that had that problem I would just close it back up and I'd be done uh, this actually has several reads that are buzzing like that uh, the reason that this might happen is if you look again at this read board it's made of wood um, just like the doors in our house can creak um, and get jammed in the winter because of um, changes in temperature and dryness uh, the reed board can do the same thing because it's made of wood. Um, when it's made of wood, it causes these reeds to shift just a little bit, and that shifting can cause the reed to jam against the casing. Um, again, like I just illustrated, it's a very easy problem to resolve if you have the right tools. I will put a link with this video to um, maybe where you can get uh, some diamond files just like this. They're relatively inexpensive to buy and a great tool to have in your toolkit if you play harmonium. So, I um, hope this is helpful. OldDeliMusic.com is my website, and again, I'm Nick. Thanks for watching the video.